Hi, my name is Lisa and I have Crohn's disease. Last October 2016, I had a very painful wound on my back that was getting larger and larger. I went to see my gastroenterologist who did not know what it was. I then went to a dermatologist who diagnosed me with pyoderma gangrenosum. She suggested oral prednisone at a high and prolonged dosage, which was not an option for me due to previous prolonged usage of the drug. She also suggested Humira injections, but again, because I had used it for my Crohn's disease and it did not work for that, I opted out, even though she said it still might work for the pyoderma gangrenosum. She prescribed a topical ointment called tacrolimus and injected triamcinolone into the wound. Ouch! Unfortunately, none of this worked. My wound was getting larger and more painful by the day. I then went to a dermatologist whose specialty included Crohn's patients. He prescribed clobetazole ointment. That did not work. My husband, who is a pharmacist, noticed that I was using Restasis, a prescription for dry eye disease, which is cyclosporine, which chemically is a drug that inhibits T lymphocytes activity. My husband brought this to the attention of my dermatologist, and the doctor agreed to allow us to use the Restasis cyclosporine. Before we go ahead and start the treatment, we're going to need to first prepare the three products shown here, as well as some sterile cotton and or gauze, as well as some hydrogen peroxide. We began the treatments by first cleaning the wound with cotton, uh, cotton balls and hydrogen peroxide. We did this twice a day. Uh, after cleaning the wound with the peroxide and cotton balls, we then applied a product called Skin Prep, which comes in a wipe, and all you do is wipe around the wound, not in the wound and uh, this protects the skin from being irritated from the uh, continual application of the Tegaderm, which we're going to be using. Uh, anyway, once the uh, skin prep dried up after uh, about a minute or two, we instilled about uh, four to eight drops of the eye drops solution right into the wound, and then we took the Tegoderm patch and we applied it directly over the wound and the surrounding area where we had used the skin prep. By the middle of the day or end of the day, the wound was filled with a lot of liquid but sort of looked like a balloon with water in it. But the Tegoderm kept the solution from coming out of the wound and, uh, on, you know, escaping. Uh, at that point, at night, we again repeated the procedure by cleaning the wound. You have to be careful because of uh, the mess. And we applied the medication again and the skin prep and the Tegaderm. And uh, again, that was done, like I said, at night. Uh, in the morning, we again repeated that same procedure. And again, we repeated again in the evening and we just continued doing that over a period of months. Uh, the wound started to improve slowly. As it improved, it started to uh, give off less uh, fluid and uh, it started to close up in certain areas. If you look at the pictures, you can see that uh, how it starts to close up 
and uh, finally, uh, you know, after six to eight months of this treatment, her wound had completely closed up. And uh, towards the end of the of the process, or after a few months, you'll notice that there's less fluid given off by the wound. At that point, we started to do the treatment just once a day. And you'll know when it's time to do that because you'll see it isn't really uh, giving off much fluid underneath the tegoderm and building up and uh, like previous, uh, previously when we first started. Finally, after about eight to nine months of this treatment, the wound is completely closed up. Of course, this is our personal experience with the drug. We hope you find this helpful.